The 2024 World Sight Day has children in focus. No child deserves to lose his or her sight over preventable causes, hence the need to send them for eye checks periodically. If you can catch a disease at the very early part of it, the chances are so high that you will nip it at the board. Uh, but if you allow it to fester, it can cause damages that are irreparable. While most children have very good sight, a few who have poor vision are hardly exposed to proper medical care by their parents or guardians. If you want to preserve your eyes, any small thing that happens to you, report to your teacher or report to your parents. It's not a taboo to wear glasses. They've been buying drugs for me. Kids to come up. Because it's, it's been affecting me like since. Like during physics or maths in the lab, I'll not be able to see it well. So I'm not coping that well. Wife of Governor Alex Oti, Priscilla, says it is a call to service for caregivers as government will not fold arms to watch its young population suffer blindness. We must move swiftly and with purpose by making eye health a priority. We can ensure that every child in Abia State, regardless of where they live, have access to proper care. This starts with regular eye screenings, accessible eye clinics, and programs that extend to every corner of our communities. A consultant ophthalmic surgeon, Dr. Charles Uchendo, says ignorance has caused some manageable eye cases to deteriorate. So you find out that when a child has a trauma in the eye, and the, you, go, you go and start, go to the patent medicine store to start putting eye drop or go to a herbalist to start putting some leaves. That child, the eye will become infected, grossly infected, from what we call scan, the child cannot see. These are basic things that if you take the child to a proper hospital, no matter the uh, most levels of injuries and infection can be treated and the child can be okay. Dr. Betty Emeka Obasi says parents should reduce their children's screen time and ensure they are examined by experts for correct diagnosis. We have gone to schools, we are training teachers to be able to recognize these symptoms in children. If you have 52% of your population as children, that's from 0 to 17, it's, I mean, it goes without saying that you should pay attention to such age group, you know. And this year we're particularly talking about this because the eyes have become endangered. Parents have been called upon to always observe their children and pay attention to those who present with problems of the sight. In Omaha, Central, Chinwe Ugele.